Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made, wait for it, wait for it, these. These are rather delicious hoops and they are so simple to make and to be quite honest with you, since I've made them I haven't really wanted to take them out. So I'm going to be showing you how to make those. Come with me and I'll show you how it's done. Well, there was a bit of a clue there as to what we're going to be using. Yep, it's the leaf sticker stencil and some Sizzix shrink plastic. And I'm just popping the sticker stencil onto it and cutting it out to a smaller piece, a more manageable piece, you know. And I'm, I've stuck my sticker stencil down, the leaf shape, and I'm just going around at the end of the stalk, the Posca pen, so that I get a loop from which to hang my earrings. And I'm just going around the outside of the leaf because I'm now going to take the sticker stencil off and cut around it. This is me cutting. It's an awful lot slower, usually. But just remember when you're cutting shrink plastic to make it a small piece so that you haven't got the other bit dragging you and cutting the plastic, ripping the plastic. So I'm using the handheld hole punch and I've gone with the larger one. And I just used the end, that bit that I'd coloured in, as a guide. So now we're going to add some colour. That's a six by six piece of multifarious card. And that's the acrylic spray, teal. And that's periwinkle. And the last one is white. And that goes more or less in the centre. And now I'm going to pick up my watercolour brush and just work that colour around the leaf. And I know you're probably going to be thinking the leaves aren't blue. And well, this is true. Um, and they won't remain that colour because it does shift slightly as it shrinks. So I'm just moving that colour where I want it to be because, to be quite honest with you, I have swamped that. That little sticker stencil is swamped and it's not going to remain that way. So I'm just doing a little bit of the veins. You'll see me do that a couple of times. Just gives me an inkling of what it could, could be like. And just remember with these veins, they all start in one point. Putting another 6x6 six six multifarious card over the top because I'm taking a print. And this, my friends, will be in part two. Um, and I'll show you how I turn these into a card. Well, one of them anyway, into a card. And you're going to think, well, that's where the colour went. Ah, but can you see there's a little bit of colour left? And I've popped it onto a piece of white paper so you can see that. And now we're going to add some patterning. And for this, I'm going to use the dynamic stencil. And I'm not going to cover the whole leaf with it. And I'm using a glittery yellow Posca pen. And I'm literally roughly colouring inside the stencil. I love this glittery yellow Posca. It's like magic. So I'm literally just placing this over roughly half of it. It doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything. Just place as much pattern as you want on there. And then remove. And here we go with the aqua green Posca pen. And I'm doing my veins. Do you remember? You saw me do them in with the paintbrush before. And I'm just making sure that they're going to show up. So I'm going to use a little bit of the aqua green and take it through the pattern. And then I might highlight it, there we go, with some glittery yellow Posca pen. Just adding a few dots just to bring that yellow into the other side 
of the leaf. There you go. See what I said? There it is. Just using a little bit of that glittery yellow. Shrinking time! Hurrah! So, popping it on a piece of card and I'm just using my Ranger Heat tool and this little magic tool that you can see on the left is part of a Sizzix Shrink Plastic Accessories set. And what I can say to you is when you are shrinking these plastic oofer doofers, please do not interfere, no matter how much you want to. When you get in the middle of it as it's shrinking, that's when things go a little wrong. Now you can see I've shrunk it and I just stamped it down. You can use an old sketchbook or something, just flatten it. And I'm now going to add some bling using a two zig two-way glue pen. Just going round the edges of it. This is the leaf, leaf one. Obviously, you do it once and then you have to, if you want a pair, you'll do it again. I've heated up that glue until it goes tacky like a sticker. And I'm using some fab foil and this is the copper just to give the edges a little flash of colour. And it's little touches like this that stop what is essentially plastic from looking like plastic. And they're ideal for earrings because they're so light. And I'm just dotting some of that glue about, heating it up again till it gets tacky, popping some fab foil down and just rubbing it around with my thumb, a little bit of pressure. And it just has a nice little glint in the light. So now all I have to do now is add it to a hoop. Now I've bought these off um, the internet. Off that famous place on the internet, Amazon. And look how simple that is. Your earrings are done. Amazing. One set of leafy hoopy earrings. Well done. You did it. And they are amazing. Well done. Hi, I hope you enjoyed making these as much as I did. I've enjoyed them so much that um, family and friends, be prepared. You might be getting them for presents. <laughs> anyway, since I've made them, I haven't really wanted to take them off. So don't be surprised if you see them in me, in, see me in them in the next video. So for the next video, have a look at the end and there might be a teaser. Um, thank you. Big thank you to everybody who's watching this video. Really appreciate it. I hope you've had fun. I hope maybe I've inspired you to try the shrink plastic because it's great fun and it's totally addictive and you can make some wonderful things that really don't look plastic. So any comments you want to make about this craft video, please pop them in the post below and I will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as I can. You take care and thank you for watching. Bye. If you'd like to make the card too, join me in part two.